I'm Jack Brennan, Chair of Notre Dame's Board of Trustees. And it's my pleasure and honor to announce that with great enthusiasm today, our board elected Father Robert Dowd, CSC, as the next president of our great university. Father Bob will assume those duties on July 1st, 2024. We're thrilled that he will be our next leader and we know he will be a very worthy and wonderful successor to Father John Jenkins, who leads our university so effectively and has for two decades. Today's announcement is the culmination of a multi-year succession process conducted by our board. And it is the comprehensiveness of this process that gives us such confidence that Father Bob is the right person to lead Notre Dame and to build on the accomplishments of the past two decades. As we continue our journey to be a leading global Catholic research university, on a par with, but distinguished by its Catholic mission from the world's best universities. Father Bob is a natural successor to Father John and follows in the line of Fathers Malloy and Hesper. He is a person of faith and prayer, dedicated priest, an accomplished scholar and a superb teacher. Father Bob is a respected member of the Academy, a global citizen, an experienced and successful administrator, and just as important, a person who has demonstrated a lifelong commitment to serve as a priest and a scholar, to grow personally and professionally, and always to learn. There is so much more to say about Father Bob, and we look forward to the Notre Dame family getting to know him better during the next seven months and after he assumes the presidency next July. For now, it is my pleasure to introduce you to the man who will be the 18th president of Notre Dame, Father Bob Dowd, CSC. Congratulations, Father Bob. Jack, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I am deeply honored and humbled by the board's decision. I'm also deeply humbled to be following in the footsteps of Father John and to continue the legacy of all the presidents who have come before him. As Father John likes to say, Notre Dame's best years lie ahead. That's true because of the selfless dedication of leaders like Father John, who have built on the foundations laid by their predecessors, guided by the past, but with their eyes on the future. I look forward to continuing that tradition one of selfless dedication to Our Lady's University and its mission of education, research, and service as a great Catholic university. I too believe that thanks to the foundations laid by those who have gone before, Notre Dame's best years are ahead. And I am honored to have been selected to help lead us into that bright future. During the coming months, I will be especially focused on listening and learning as I prepare to assume my new responsibilities in July. To all the members of the Notre Dame family, thank you. Thank you for your prayers and your support. I'm excited to connect with you, and I am passionate about Notre Dame's future and all the good we can do together. Thank you, Father Bob. Congratulations. I applaud the board for working so diligently and for selecting such a wonderful leader for Notre Dame. I have known Father Bob for over three decades as a friend and as a brother in Holy Cross, and have worked closely with him for two decades as a faculty colleague and administrator. I know he will be a great president for Notre Dame. I will do all I can in coming months to help him prepare to assume the presidency, and when he does, I will do all I can to assist and support him. I thank our board of trustees for conducting such a careful professional search and for helping develop strong candidates to assume this role. I especially thank our board chair, Jack Brennan, who has led the process and who has been for me over the years an invaluable colleague, advisor, and friend. Among Notre Dame's greatest strengths for 181 years has been clarity about its mission, consistency in its purpose, and constancy in its desire to do better. Father Bob will be clear about Notre Dame's mission, consistent in purpose, and will always seek to more fully realize our aspirations. May God bless him, and may Notre Dame, Our Lady, always watch over him.